Shut the fuck up, you cunt! Hey guys, Pastor Greg Locke here. So today in the mail, I got a very shocking and a very interesting card. Well, gosh, I suspect you're gonna get a lot more. <laughs> a little bird told me. It came from Planned Parenthood. Okay, I will take a guess and just say your parents finally decided to abort you and they just now filed the papers? Which is a very strange organization to be sending me anything at all because everyone knows my very bold and biblical stand against them. Because as you know, the Bible mentions Planned Parenthood. But here's what's interesting. Here's what the card said. Dear Greg Locke, Planned Parenthood Federation of America is pleased to let you know that a generous and thoughtful donation has been made in your honor by... Let me guess, it was Jesus H. Christ. What do you mean I'm wrong? And then apparently the hater's name was Krista Ginsburg in Houston, Texas. What do you mean hater? This person made a donation to Planned Parenthood in your name. That is not the act of someone who hates anyone. It is an act of kindness and generosity done in your name. Could it be that the name sounded just too Jewish to you? And it doesn't say how much it was. And then sincerely, you know, the Richards lady that runs Planned Parenthood. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how big or how small it was. It was an absolute waste of your money. Helping poor people have healthy, happy babies is a waste of money? And you call yourself a Christian? And the stamp was an absolute waste of your money as well. Don't ever send me any more nonsense from Planned Parenthood. What do you mean nonsense? I think it was very kind, generous, and noble to have somebody give a gift to Planned Parenthood in your name. Like the $66.60 that I sent to Planned Parenthood of New Mexico with your name on it. I think everybody should do that. There has never been an organization in the world that has killed more innocent people other than radical Islam than Christianity. Am I right? Than that of Planned Parenthood. That extraordinary claim has zero evidence, therefore dismissed. Look, I'm just going to say it boldly whether you like it or not. By which you mean you are now going to lie to us, and then you are going to get upset when we call you a liar. Did I get that right also? Planned Parenthood does not give the flip of a wooden nickel about women's health care. I'm intrigued. If Planned Parenthood does not give a wooden nickel to the reproductive health care of their clients, which is not only women, there's also a hell of a lot of girls that get services at Planned Parenthood. There's a shitload of young men and old men out there getting services from Planned Parenthood. Why is Planned Parenthood providing these services if they don't want to? It's a bunch of deceptive individuals that are in it for the money that have been known to sell baby parts. Known? By whom? Who knows out there that any baby ba I'm sorry, I can't even say it. it so funny. Baby parts are being sold on eBay. Better hurry while there's still a supply. <sighs> Who out there knows any baby parts are being sold by anyone out there, let alone Planned Parenthood? And where in the hell would they be getting the fucking baby parts? <sighs> Planned Parenthood does not have access to baby parts. They are not selling baby parts. They would not sell baby parts even if they had them. Even if it was legal, they probably wouldn't be selling baby parts. <sighs> baby parts. I wonder if there's a category for baby parts on eBay. Parts comma baby on the black market, and they have done nothing but butcher innocent lives for years. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't care if I ever get another piece of literature from you guys again. Oh, I think you can count on getting more cards, dude.
because you're just wasting your money to send me this nonsense. Helping the poor. Sounds like a goddamn Jesus thing to me. That makes me more of a follower of Jesus than you are, dude. So if nothing else becomes of this video, I at least want everyone to know that Pastor Greg Locke has absolutely, positively, teetotally nothing to do with Planned Parenthood, and I don't want my name associated with this wicked mess. Based just on reading the Christian Testament and Jesus' teachings attributed to Jesus, I think he would be on the side of Planned Parenthood. They offer very low fee services for poor people, girls, boys, women, men. They all go there to get reproductive health services that they cannot afford anywhere else. Jesus would give them two thumbs up and two holes in his palms or wrist. See what I did there? Jesus would probably be telling his alleged followers, go fund Planned Parenthood. You know, if Christians actually followed the teachings attributed to Jesus, we would have a hell of a lot better society. Just save your stamps, Planned Parenthood, because every time you send me a thank you letter, yeah, and from what I can tell on the social media, dude, you're going to get hundreds. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.